Hello everyone and welcome back to another week of Gary's Kitchen. What's for dinner? <laughs> So for our Sunday dinner, we have a Salisbury steak, oh corn on the cob, and mashed potatoes. Right, Ash? Okay, I've got kids running around. It's summer break. I don't have time away from them now to film these little voiceovers. So hopefully, I can make it through this without a bunch of noise in the background. So to make the Salisbury steak, Gary diced up an onion. He put um, two-thirds a cup of breadcrumbs in a bowl two pounds of ground beef, the onion, and two beaten eggs, and mixed all of that around and then formed some patties. And I think he added some salt, pep salt, pepper, and garlic powder to the mixture as well. And on accident, he added a pack of gravy, like one of the gravy packets he added in there. Um, we weren't supposed to, but he did because he just wasn't paying attention. We were talking and carrying on, and he added right there that into the mixture. Um, when we ate it, we couldn't tell. I mean, they were delicious, so if you want to add it, go ahead. It was a really good flavor, but the recipe doesn't call for it. He meant to use it in the end for, like, the sauce, but he ended up putting it in there. And as I said, we either couldn't tell or it made it better. I don't know. Either way, it, they turned out really well. And here he is just forming the patties. Uh, I think he made 10, maybe 12, I'm not sure. We had maybe one or two left over, but, and we ate quite a bit. So I think he made 10 to 12 with two pounds of ground beef. He fried them all up in our cast iron pan over some warmed up vegetable oil. And when he was done, he removed them from the pan, drained most of the fat. There is just a tiny bit left, but he drained most of it. And then he added this, uh, the other packet of brown gravy into it and added however much water the packet said. And he let that simmer for a while. And then he added the um, patties back into it and let them all warm up and soak up the gravy and everything. I will add the actual recipe down below in the description box. You guys, this was such an easy one. When I look for a recipe, I look for easy Salisbury steak. It was easy. It was delicious. It was quick. They were heavenly. I mean, they really, really were good. I don't know if it was that extra gravy packet or not, but they were good. And for the first time, we did our corn on the cob in the Instant Pot, put them in there. We put a stick of butter in there. Gary added salt, and it says one to two minutes on high pressure, and then you release the steam immediately, and they came out perfect. I mean, you can't beat that one to two minutes in the Instant Pot versus on the stove. I will definitely always be cooking our corn this way. All right, so we have two of those left. That was really good. No corn. Some mashed potatoes. Nothing. What was your favorite thing? Mm, the corn. corn. Corn? Corn. Ashley. Yeah. Either mashed potatoes or raspberry steak. Huh? Good, wasn't it? Uh -huh. Okay, so Monday night dinner, we are having cheddar broccoli rice, pork carnitas. This recipe is to die for. It is so good. Now we have some shredded cabbage and a watermelon and some ate. toppings. Good. And it's going to be good. Okay, so to make the rub for the pork, I did one tablespoon of salt, one teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, half a teaspoon of cumin, and then that was just for the rub, and then we rubbed that all over the outsides of all of the pork. And then for the juice that went into the crock pot, we did four cloves of garlic, and you cut those in half and throw them in the crock pot. You do half a cup of salsa, one cup of chicken stock, three quarter cup of orange juice, the juice of one lemon, and the juice of two limes, which I'm just now seeing. Um, I thought it was the juice of one lime, but either way, it was good.
We cooked it on low for 10 hours and as you can see here, this is what it looked like when it came out and it was so tender, it just fell apart. And I highly, highly, highly recommend this recipe. Um, before we even got it to the table, I was eating it like crazy because the rub was so delicious. The outside of the pork, oh my gosh, so, so, so good, you guys. Here is how the carmita turned out. You guys, this pork is amazing. Coleslaw. Today, Today is Tuesday, what is and Tuesday. we are having what? Pork hot dogs. Pork, pork hot, hot dogs. dogs. <laughs> the kids were confused because they saw hot dog buns and they said, what are we having? Pork hot dogs? So we're having pork barbecue, but we don't have any hamburger buns. Pork hot we have hot dog buns. So we're having pork hot dogs apparently. Coleslaw. With coleslaw and we have watermelon. Watermelon. <laughs> watermelon. watermelon. For the pork barbecue, I just put apple juice in the bottom of the slow cooker. I rubbed the outside of the pork with salt and smokehouse maple seasoning, brown sugar, and some apple cider vinegar. And then I put it in the crock pot, cooked it on low for eight hours. And then for the coleslaw, I just took about a half cup of mayonnaise, some um, show about two, uh, one tablespoon of sugar, a teaspoon of lemon juice teaspoon of apple cider vinegar I believe and some salt and pepper and mixed it together and then I added the shred up cabbage and then I added some raisins and it was delicious. this leftover, this barbecue, and this barbecue, and that coleslaw. But this is going to be Gary's lunch, and this is really all that's left over. But the kids are gonna eat this tomorrow with lunch. They were hoping to have enough leftover from dinner to have with lunch tomorrow, and then we have just this little bit of barbecue left. It was so good, you guys. So I need to get him some bread, and then that'll be him. Daddy just got me a piece of pie. I don't know how much is left. Is there any pie left? There's still some left. All right, Wednesday dinner. We are having, what is this called, babe? Um, you have. I have. The broccoli cheese rice. Broccoli and cheese rice left over. With the chicken is garlic parmesan. With garlic parmesan chicken. I have the same Daddy thing has habanero. Haban mango habanero chicken. Yep. We have homemade <laughs> chicken wings. And Everly has garlic parmesan chicken, I'm guessing. Uh, hers is just fried chicken. Oh, hers is just fried chicken. Never mind. Daddy made dinner. To coat the chicken wings, Daddy put some flour in here. I think it was about a cup and a half, maybe. And then he put some cayenne pepper and some salt and some paprika and I think chili powder, maybe? I don't know. We're going to have to see in a second. I should have let him do this voiceover, but, you know, I just can't get him to do stuff like that. So let me see if I can catch what that was. Nope, couldn't. I think it was chili powder, cayenne pepper, and paprika and salt, I know. And then he, they whisked it together and then dipped the wings in it and fried them like that, I believe. And then when they were done frying, he coated them with a classic buffalo packet sauce mix, tossed them in that sauce. And I hope you can hear me because he is power washing outside and it is super loud. For the chicken, he used all of what you just saw to make a breading type thing for the chicken. It was a packet of garlic parmesan, some minced garlic and parmesan cheese, mixed it together, coated some chicken thighs, and then he actually did a couple in a mango habanero packet mix just like that garlic parmesan one. And then he just grilled all of that chicken. And this dinner turned out very good. So Thursday night dinner is leftover night. We have some leftover pulled pork barbecue. 
We have some leftover Salisbury steak and mashed potatoes, some leftover chicken thighs. Um, I'm trying to remember what was on them, I can't remember. We just had them last night too. Parmesan garlic or mango habanero. I'm not sure which is what. And then some twice baked potatoes. All right, here's Ashton's plate. She has a twice baked potato, some chicken, and some applesauce. And here's Everly's plate. She has uh, Salisbury steak and and here's my plate. I have Salisbury steak, a twice baked potato, and applesauce. And Haley and Hayden are with their dad. And Gary is not home from work yet. He left DC at 3:30, and his GPS says 7:30. That's how bad traffic is from DC to home some nights for hours, and it should not take but more than a little over an hour. Saturday, right? Friday. Friday. It is. Well, Friday night dinner. We went to the Chinese buffet. So we got a little bit of everything. Sushi, sweet and sour chicken and rice, some fried dumplings. I really didn't eat much. Broccoli and chicken and rice. Dad's got some Japanese chicken and sweet and sour chicken. We had some egg rolls, but they're gone. Okay, for our Saturday night dinner, we have a screaming baby. We are having stuffed shells. It's just ricotta and I don't even know on the inside. I made it a month or two ago. I already showed how I made it because I showed it on that video. And this was just left over and we froze it. And then the sausage is just uh, sweet Italian sausage. And Gary um, cooked it right there on the stove, cut it up, put it in here, and then we just warmed it, baked it all in the oven. So we're having that with some Italian bread and we're gonna butter it. So here's how it looks. Just some stuffed shells with some Italian sausage and Italian buttered bread. And here's Evie's plate. And Ashlyn's at a sleepover. Her birthday, her best friend is having a birthday party slash sleepover tonight. So it's just us three eating. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and enjoy these other videos we have coming up for you. Also, you can turn on the red bell notifications so you're notified of every new video we post. Thank you so much.